all life is sacred. And he said that after separating a small, thin, non-venomous snake from around a large African hawk-like bird's neck. Because, you see, the bird attacks snakes, but that snake couldn't eat that large bird once it died, and that would have been a senseless death. All life is sacred, you say, so I, I couldn't help but think. As a hunter, do you pray for the sacred dead after you kill it? <laughs> I mean, I don't usually vocalize when I'm on a high horse like this. And I've had to explain myself to meteors. No, these aren't leather shoes I wear. I'm a vegetarian. Though I still have to feign a smile to commiserate with men eating slaughtered animals. Because, you see, I look like a fool for having beliefs. People don't want to hear about a moral choice different from their own. I mean, we're Americans. If it's not human, or, or maybe a dog or a cat, eat it. It's that simple. But I married a hunter, a marine, who served our country, and he told me that every time he kills an animal, a part of him feels a regretful twinge of pain once it's killed as prey. A prey that he searched for with the weapon he could use before anything got close enough to be an enemy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting on my high horse again. It's convenient that people can get their kill from the grocery store without getting any blood on their hands. Anything to stop everyone from thinking about what they're doing. Because I've heard that killing something makes you feel something. And I thought, 